The Lenape love their children. Your mom, this is her place, the village. They took care of the houses, and especially the children. And usually your mom would carry this, on, carry your baby on a cradle board. And she could actually hang this on the back of her head, of course, you know. But when she wasn't, when she didn't have that, what she would do is she would hang them up. Maybe in a tree like you see there. Just so they were safe. They were off the ground. There were no wild animals or your baby couldn't go into a fire. This way you can keep your eye on them. And they liked them. They put little toys and games for them to little things that they could play with little rattles. And they were nice and safe. And they, they wrapped them in nice soft furs, rabbit fur or beaver. And of course to keep them dry, yeah, they had diapers. They could use swamp moss. Or how about the cattail plant, those punks? Take that brown punk part, pack your babies first with that. And the good part about that is they're made from seeds. Once you get done using this mess as a diaper, throw it away, it grows more diapers. Now, women had a lot of work to do. This was their place, like I said. The men were out hunting, the women would grow the gardens, and of course, cook the food. Now, to cook the food, well, the women were great cooks and there was plenty of food to be had. In your gardens, of course, there were the three main crops that you would plant. Corn, you would have beans, and of course, squashes. Uh, these three together were oftentimes referred to as the three sisters, especially by the Iroquois. Now, there was a lot more food than just this. In your garden, you could grow sunflower seeds. There were Jerusalem artichokes. Out in the forest, you, when you were a small girl, your mother would have taught you over a hundred different plants that you could use. Don't forget, there were wild berries, wild mushrooms, wild little carrots and onions, and things like potatoes, and lots of berries and chestnuts, especially the American chestnut. There was so, almost one out of every four trees around here used to be a chestnut, and this was just as valuable a resource as corn was. You could make chestnut soup, chestnut stew, stew, chestnut bread, and even chestnut milk. So the Lenape found just all the things they needed, including spices. There were some wonderful spices out in nature. And they would cook these in clay pots. The clay came from the ground, they could mold these clay pots, and they could make very delicious soups and stews. To stir the food, you had a stirring paddle. And you could use this for taking hot cornbread out of the fire. To make your cornbread, you would have to pound up the corn in a mortar and pestle. You could actually pound it up. Or you could grind it up like it's over here to a fine flour by using a milling stone. And once you bake that in the fires, well, it came out quite nice. They made little cornbreads that you can actually have these and you can actually, you know, eat your, um, have cornbread with, with the other kinds of meals that you had. That was a staple cornbread. Now, to keep their food, since they didn't have refrigerators, they would dry their food out. You could actually hang up beans or the corn inside of your houses, but especially inside your house along the ceiling where uh, it would stay nice and dry there. And eventually, you take some of these large amounts of food and you store them down in the ground in what we call storage pits, like large refrigerators in a sense. Okay, now some of the food had, um, well, other uses. For instance, black walnuts. Now you can eat them inside here, these very delicious nuts. But the outer husk, it made a great dye. Matter of fact, you have to be careful. You hold this too long, your hands will start to turn black. But the husk itself, they would use it as a, almost like a poison. You'd actually put it into a pot of water and let it sit there and they would dump it into a small pond and it would make the fish dizzy and very lazy. You can almost go up and just pick them up by your hand. So they would figure out, and oftentimes, plants, nuts, berries, they had multiple uses. Sometimes for food, sometimes for medicine, sometimes to do things like go fishing with. <laughs>